So I got these uh, leveling blocks. They're pretty nice, stackable, interlocking. Uh, about an inch variation in, in height, roughly an inch, inch and a half, depends on how, how they're stacked. Um, the quantity wasn't, you know, could have used a couple more in the package. Um, would have been ideal to do a, a, a six stack. So 12 pieces would have been awesome, but uh, they only came in bundles of 10, so, you know, kind of work with it. But I've got some leftover three quarter inch plywood that I figured I'd cut into some, uh, cut, in, cut into some widths, just a little bit bigger than these, and twice as long. and then use those as um, supplement, supplemented pads if I need them um, underneath, underneath these ones. So we'll see how they'll go. We'll uh, rip, rip cut them, cut them to length, and then I'll go around and I'll route all the edges and then uh, we'll put some, um, some kind of finish on there. I've got some leftover poly I could probably throw on there just to keep them somewhat, you know, whether they're, the plywood they're gonna they're gonna go to heck in the hand basket. So really a throwaway item. I was gonna pitch the plywood anyway, so I might as well put the, put the plywood to some, some kind of use. I'm Jax Mackey, and this is my van build. All right, so I don't know, two, four, six, eight, I got nine of them. See if that helps out. Give me a little bit more elevation. Now that the build out's nearly complete, I'm starting to focus on more of the quality of life items that are gonna be needed to make this van ready for full-time living. So I picked up this um, vacuum bag. These are small, very small bags, the smallest of this uh, type. Um, I did purchase these before I got like extra large, large, maybe some mediums, and I used them and I, I quite liked them. Uh, basically, they got a little valve there and you use this hand pump and it sucks all the air out, making it uh, quite nice uh, for long term storage. Uh, one of the things that I did here is I picked up uh, some new pillows. And this is a, a, a pillow inside. Now, I don't have it completely uh, sucked out of the air, sucked out of there, but that's in pretty good shape. But I also picked up, uh, not only did I get a pair of pillows, but I got uh, a set of twin extra large twin XL sheets and, and a comforter, twin size comforter I got in here. And then, like I said, I've picked up two pillows I got actually two sets of twin XL sheets and two comforters. And then while I was at it, I grabbed a set of queen sheets and a queen comforter in case I wanna uh, make this bed into a queen size bed and sleep that way. Um, one of the other items that I picked up was this handheld uh, vacuum, which is a battery operated vacuum, which I can charge right directly off of my, uh, my lithium batteries. Um, we'll, give, uh, we'll give this a try and see how it works. I shouldn't need a very large vacuum in this build. And then to wrap up uh, this set of stuff, this is actually coconut core, which is what I'm gonna use in my composting toilet. This is actually made out of, um, this is actually, uh, it's called coconut core pith. Um, and 
what I'll need to do is add some water to that and break it break it down from block form and get it more of in a fluff and that'll use uh, that'll be used in my composting toilet and another thing I picked up is a soap dispenser I'm gonna put in the shower uh, we'll see how nice this is and depending upon it whether or not I need to uh, pick up a, a more another one for the, the kitchen uh, but I'm gonna definitely uh, mount this in in the bathroom in in the shower uh, so I don't have to worry about bars of soap and then I also grabbed uh, a towel hanger uh, for a bathroom towel and I'm gonna mount that uh, up in here as well so I have a place to put my uh, bath towel when I'm done having a shower all right so today uh, I'm gonna be working on an afterthought which um, for those of you that don't know what an afterthought is it's one of those things where you know it would have been done a lot easier and a lot faster had I thought about it um, in the beginning stages of the process but because I didn't do that um, the afterthought now becomes a little bit more work. So what is it that I'm going to be doing? Well, I've got these uh, shelf pins or shelf brackets that uh, get mounted inside of a cabinet to allow you to install uh, shelving in an adjustable way. Now, had I drilled the, the holes in the panels before I installed them, it would have been a lot easier. Um, but I didn't really think I, I was going to need, you know, more than one shelf, but now that I have this space up here and I'm kind of planning on what I'm going to be using that space for, it's going to be pretty nice if I have some adjustability to some shelvings because, you know, two or three, four plates aren't going to take up that much space. And if I have a shelf directly over that, that'll increase my storage capacity and my ability to store multiple items. Um, a lot more easily. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to make a little jig to help me uh, keep my holes in line and organized. And then we'll drill the holes and install the pins. We'll get a measurement for the shelves. So I'll probably make uh, maybe two, at least two shelves for each one, maybe three shelves for each one. Uh, so I have options. You know, they don't need to be very tall. Like I said, I, a few plates only take up a little bit of room. And so I can shove those plates in there and, and that'll work out really good. Keep the heavy stuff down here, the lighter stuff maybe up on the top. Um, it'll give me lots of options anyways. So. so I went ahead and I laid this out every inch and I've drilled it every other, so every two inches. But I think what I'll do is I'll, I'll go ahead and drill them out every inch because that'll give me a lot more flexibility. Um, I'll start at two and then go three, four, five, six, seven, and then so on and so forth. But so yeah, that should work out pretty slick. Yeah, with any afterthought, you know, always got to redo stuff. So um, I'm going to take the, the door off. I think that'll be a lot easier. Uh, it's going to interfere with my my fixture because of these. If I take this off, I'm going to I'm just going to have it the door plunk me in the head. So. I'm just going to go ahead and remove it. So, So what I've got here is I measured out uh, the distance. This little angle clip is just gonna not go through. <laughs> so I don't have to drill it all the way through, it darn near close to all the way through, but almost. Um, that'll be on the outside two panels uh, on this one here and on this one here, but the middle one we can drill all the way through. So I'm gonna go ahead and start outside ones first. So that way I don't drill all the way through to the outside edge and you see the holes. Hopefully that works out well.
All right, so I've got the uh, the shelf brackets, the little um, shelf pins in, uh, set up on every inch, so we can put them in anywhere we want. Now we got to cut some shelves. There we go. We've got uh, four shelves, all adjustable in, in height. That'll work out pretty slick, I think. That'll give us lots of uh, lots of options. I don't think I need more than four. I think that'll be that'll be good. Anything smaller than that, I think, will be tough for me, my hands, to get into. But uh, we may have to. Depends on how heavy the things that are on here. We may have to support this a little, a little bit more, but we'll see. It's only half inch plywood. Um, I'll keep the heavier stuff, I guess, on the bottoms. Put the lighter stuff on the top. Like you know, I could put some, you know, plastic bags, some sandwich bags, storage bag stuff, perhaps. Uh, maybe some um, storage containers. We'll see. We'll see how it, how it, how it works out. But that's it, throw some paint on it, call it done. Well, one of the super cool things about working out here in the van is the fact that I've got, uh, I got some nice drinking water out here. I got the, the tank full, well, it was full, and I got this um, water filtration system. So uh, this afternoon I was uh, topping off my water glass uh, with, the, with the drinking water here, and it uh, abruptly ran out. And I thought, scratched my head, said, well, you know, what the, what the heck is going on with that? That that shouldn't, you know, I shouldn't run out of water. I mean, there should be a, a replenishment. When I take a glass, it should replenish the, pet, the, the pressure um, of what it's taken. That's the whole purpose of this, um, of this holding tank in here. But my assumption is that that takes up the slack of the, you know, of the water so there there is a some sort of a pressure switch on the system itself but to run completely out of water that was really kind of baffling so I played around with it a little bit and what I discovered was I've got this accumulator down here this accumulator is meant to um, pressurize the system assist with the pressurization of the system so that the pump doesn't run as frequently and what I determined was the accumulator didn't have any pressure in it <laughs> now it's meant to uh, max capacity at 120 psi and then it's a precharge pressure and it's supposed to be written on here but there was nothing written on here so this was an empty you know there was no pressure in this so really the only pressure that I was working with was the pressure that was off the pump and according to the specs in the pump that was 45 psi so I went ahead and I put some pressure in here and I'm thinking I'm about 50 or 60 pounds um, it's a little difficult such a small little vessel that any squirt of air extra that comes out of there you know it, it releases quite a bit of tank pressure so I think I've got about 50 or 60 psi in there and the system was running um, to replenish the drinking water um, quite a bit I mean very very frequently it was running um, to a point where I actually had to um, fill up my water tank again now it was it was down it was down down to about uh, about an inch inch and a half of water um, since the last time I filled it which has been you know a couple weeks I I'm just kind of monitoring the the whole usage and stuff I haven't really needed a whole bunch of water I did use the water to uh, wipe down and clean everything um, a couple of weeks ago so I probably used several you know gallons for that um, but at any rate so now I'm just kind of um, kind of listening and waiting and seeing exactly what's what's happening here now it's finally settled down um, so I'm assuming that the pressure the check valve for the um, the apex water system down here is has clicked over now what my assumption is is that that's what that little box is right there um, because 
that water, that connection going into there comes out of these three filters. So it goes through these three filters and then goes into this check valve box before it goes into the RO system. And then that's what uh, is pre-charged off of this um, holding tank that's up here. So hopefully I've got it figured out now where I won't run out of water where it'll actually you know maintain the pressure. We'll have to see in, in, in how that works out. Now the other thing that I did before was um, I, I had put some pressure in this tank. So we'll have to monitor that to see if I need to um, take a little bit out of that or not because um, the manufacturer when I talked to him, which I really wasn't confident with the person I spoke to, um, they said there's three to five pounds in there, which it was immeasurable with the, the tire gauge that I've got here. This, this goes to 10 PSI is the minimum. So um, that's what I think I've got between 10 and 15 PSI in that tank now. So we'll see, we're gonna have to play around with it. I definitely, it uses, and I say use, um, it uses a lot of water to create drinking water because of the waste, um, you know, the byproduct. It, it, it's contaminant water is what they describe it as. Um, I drink, what I've been doing is drinking the well water for pretty much my whole life here, so I know it's good water. Uh, but at the end of the day, it goes through the RO system specifically so that I can have good, clean, safe drinking water wherever I'm at uh, with the van. So that's the purpose of that. So, um, but it, like I said, it does waste a little water and you know goes through, I don't know how many gallons of water to give you how many gallons of drinking water. So if it's two to one or if it's three to one or if it's you know half, half a gallon to a gallon, I, I don't know yet. We'll have to see if I can calculate that out somehow. And in the meantime, I'm painting these shelves. I'm gonna throw another uh, top coat on here. Uh, while I'm standing here and then that should be good. All right paint and installed Mm-hmm. That's gotta get the doors back on Bada bing, bada boom. All right, cool beans. That is it. Uh oh. Oh boy. Okay. Houston, Houston, we have a problem. Okay, well, we gotta. We gotta notch out. We gotta notch out this shelf a little bit. We'll have to do that tomorrow because it's already like a, I don't know eight o'clock, eight thirty. <laughs> I haven't had dinner yet. All right, cool. Well, let's shut her down and uh, go from there. Okay, so I've got a. Uh, I gotta. I gotta cut a little bit of a. A spot out on these shelves to accommodate for them gas struts. So what I did here is I set up a small piece of scrap wood, um, offset it, offset it from the edge, and then uh, I've got a hole saw here set up. It's an inch and a half hole saw, but I got it offset by an inch, so there's only going to be like a little bit of a cope. In there and I'll just drill right down through and that should be a, a pretty clean um, that should be a pretty clean cut right there That's 
uh, and that's it. Now, I wouldn't have been able to. I wouldn't have been able to use this hole saw just on the very edge of that the, the shelves. It would have ripped right through. So I used this as a scrap metal to create a um, a template, a guide, if you will, to go down through. That's it. That's, that's all I really needed to do. So take a little bit out right there. Uh, hit that lightly with a sander and throw some paint on there. Clean it up, and that'll be done. Thank you very much for tuning in. Be sure to check out next week's video. And if you like the content, be sure to like and subscribe.